Welcome to Cooking Matters Kitchen Finds, the series that's going to show you how to take common pantry ingredients to make healthy, fun, delicious meals for your family. I'm Dennis. And I'm Paul. And today we're going to take three pantry staples and make two different types of recipes with them. Today's three staple ingredients are going to be vegetables, cheese, and pasta. Okay, now we have our pantry staples onto our recipes. But to make things interesting, we're going to have a friendly competition. So what we're going to be doing is earning points based on creativity, flexibility, and speed. How about you jump us off, Paul, and tell us what you're making today? I'm going to be making turkey burger macaroni. We have garlic, onion, pepper, tan tomatoes, cheese, ground turkey, salt and pepper, a little bit of thyme, and pasta. I've already started my turkey up. Now I'm going to start cutting everything up. With this recipe, we can have our kids involved. They can help cook the pasta first. They can open that can of tomatoes. Right. They can shred the cheese, gather all the spices and everything. Great color in there now. I know in Cooking Mads, we always tell our participants to eat the rainbow, meaning get a lot of different colors of produce in there so we can increase the nutritional value. I'm amazed by how quickly this is coming together. The last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sprinkle our cheese on there, and then this guy will be good to go. All right, Dennis, what are you gonna be making tonight? Mac and cheese, a real simple recipe. I'm gonna first go over the ingredients we have for this one. Broccoli, cheese, pasta, milk. Some butter going on here, flour. I have some salt and pepper. I want to remind you to go to cookingmatters.org to get all the recipes you see in this series, plus a lot more. I'm going to start by making a roux. And again, your kids can get involved with helping with grating the cheese. Maybe picking out what vegetable they picking want to Picking out what vegetable they want to add to there. It's actually looking pretty good here. Let's finish this off with my broccoli. I'm using frozen broccoli. I'll let this sit out a little bit in the refrigerator. You want to taste this recipe first before you add the salt because we do have quite a bit of cheese in here. I'm going to take us a little pinch for safe measure. And just like that, you have homemade mac and cheese with broccoli. So Dennis, tell me, what did you love so much about this recipe? Oh, the stovetop mac and cheese is great. It's really easy to prepare. Mac and cheese is a favorite for all, so you might as well learn how to make it yourself. And this will teach people that they can add vegetables to their mac and cheese. It's actually gonna enhance the flavor and then also add some nutrition. Why do you like uh, your recipe so much? So as you can see with the turkey burger macaroni, it's very simple to make. I can have the noodles cooked off one day. When I have time, make up the meat another day, put it all together, add the cheese on top, and it's good to go. Paul, I'm a huge competitor, but I think you won this round. Thank you, I knew it. So, there you have it. You can find more recipes on cookingmatters.org. And don't forget to post photos and tag us on Facebook and Instagram. So that's it for today's episode. I'm Dennis. And I'm Paul, and this was Kitchen Finds.